Give it to God, barbecue! That's what I'm talking about! Let's go barbecue! God just saved you. God just pulled you out of the depths of hell, out of the fire of hell, and is welcoming you into eternity in heaven. Hallelujah. Go tell somebody. You just got saved by God. Go tell somebody. Get the Bible. Read the Bible. Book of John. Learn how much God loves you. Learn how much Jesus loves you. Learn how much he sacrificed for you. And keep telling everybody every day how much Jesus loves them and what he's done in your life. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. And for you, Lee, good morning. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise the Lord. It's the 325 in the morning. Uh, cooking Saturday morning ham and barbecue blues and barbecue and looking at my drums and looking at 270 and uh, just sitting here in that quiet time, just kind of thinking about the day. I got done reading the Bible and uh, having God just instill a, a spirit of calm and, and confidence uh, in me today. You know, I, I don't have any idea of how I'll do uh, in the contest, but I know God is moving big time in, uh, in the world of barbecue. And it's fun, to, uh, it's fun to see him do that. It's fun to be a part of it. It's fun to see people challenged and feathers ruffled and, um, and, and knowing that, uh, you know, people don't like change. And it's interesting because uh, big change uh, makes them think there's, they're threatened. And, and, and so they react and they, 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 they spite and they... <laughs> They, uh, they do things that uh, they, they will regret and down the line, but uh, our, our job is to forgive. You know, people, people in our lives are going are, are gonna to hurt us. They're going to disappoint us. They're going to turn their back on us. Uh, they're going to, they're just, that's just human nature. And, and, and the thing about it is, is anytime, pe anytime people uh, offend us, uh, no matter how close they are to us, um, we just have to remember how many times we offend God. How many times we offend Jesus, and what did He do? You know, He went to that cross and He died on that cross, that brutal crucifixion death, the ultimate sacrifice, so that our sins and our transgressions would be forgiven forever. And uh, in order to have that magical formula take place, the only thing you have to do is give your whole heart to God. You have to surrender your life to Jesus Christ and make Him your Lord and Savior. And it just, uh, it's just, it's just that easy. It's just that simple. Yet, yet it's just that miraculous, you know. Tell God that you're sorry. Tell God that you believe in Him. Tell God that you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, fully man, fully God. And uh, ask for repentance, ask for forgiveness, and ask Jesus to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. And if you put it in your words and you say a prayer like that and you mean it from your heart, your life is going to change. You will become a child of God and, and you will you will see things in a completely different light. Um, it's a wonderful way to live. You know, I've tried a lot of things in my life to, to be uh, the kind of person or, or live the kind of life that I thought I wanted. And then I tried Jesus and he works for me. And I highly recommend him. <laughs> God bless you all. Not a whole lot of video or pictures at this one. It's just kind of, you know, let's just talk about God. And let's just, let's just love on Jesus. And, uh, and let's cook some barbecue. See how we do today. God bless you. God bless you. If you haven't given your whole heart to God, what are you waiting for? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.